With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone, let's start the question. The question says that three identical spheres of mass capital M each are placed at the corners of an equilateral triangle of side 2 meter, taking one of the corners as the origin. The position vector of the center of mass is. So we have to find out the position vector of the center of mass such that three identical spheres of mass M each are placed at the corners of equilateral triangle of side 2 meter. So let's visualize the question before solving. So if at all we are visualizing the question. So let's consider an equilateral triangle here. So if this is an equilateral triangle if we are considering. And at the three corners we have mass m. Here also you have mass m and there is a mass m here. So all the sides are same because it's an equilateral triangle. So let's assume that this is our y axis and this is our x axis. Therefore, we can write down now the coordinates of the center of mass of each of the particle. Therefore, if we are drawing, dropping a perpendicular here, so this will be bisecting the side in two. Therefore, the coordinate of this mass will be 1 comma 1. This mass is 0 comma 0, whereas this mass is 1 comma 0. Therefore, the position vector R or individual if at all I am talking about the center of mass position vector. So to find out the position vector, we know that R center of mass will be equal to M1 R1 plus M2 R2 plus M3 R3 divided by M1 plus M2 plus M3. So this is a formula to find out the position vector of the center of mass. So let's substitute. So R center of mass will now be equal to M1 times R1 which is going to be 0. M2 R2 which is just going to be M times I cap plus M3 R3 will be equal to M I cap plus M J cap. This whole thing divided by M1 plus M2 plus M3 which is going to be 3 M. So M I cap plus M J cap, M I cap plus M J cap. We can sum them and we can find out our center of mass vector now as M I cap plus M I cap is 2 M I cap plus mj cap divided by 3m on further eliminating m our center of mass will now be equal to 2i cap plus j cap divided by 3. So this is going to be the center of mass vector. So we know that this angle is now equal to 60 degree. Therefore if at all I am talking about the mass m which is at the top vertex and if I have to find out its components so its position vector is in this direction. So it is going to be uh, cos 60 and sin 60. So therefore if at all I am writing its uh, position uh, coordinate it is now going to be equal to along x axis separately we will write down along y axis let us write it down separately. So x components for each of it the coordinates will be for the first one it is going to be 0 comma 0. The second one it is going to be 1 comma sorry the second one is nothing but 2 comma 0 and if at all I am looking at this m so for this particular mass the x it will be equal to 1 comma now we have to find out y coordinate. y coordinate is corresponding to this length so it will be nothing but cos 6 sin 60. So this entire length is nothing but 2 so it is going to be now 2 sin 60. So this is going to be the coordinates. Therefore first let us find out what is the center of mass along x axis and y axis and then we will find out the sum. So x center of mass will now be equal to m1 x1 plus m2 x2 plus m3 x3 whole thing divided by m1 plus m2 plus m3. So let us substitute for it. So x center of mass will be equal to 0 plus 2m plus m divided by 3m which is going to be 1. Next y center of mass if at all we are trying to find out. Again the formula will be m1 y1 plus m2 y2 plus m3 y3 divided by m1 plus m2 plus m3. So I will substitute for the given data. So y center of mass will be 0 plus 0 plus 
this the third one which is going to have m times 2 sin 60 divided by 3m m and m goes away sin 60 is root 3 by 2 so that goes away i am left with root 3 by 3 which is nothing but root 3 therefore the position vector of the center of mass will now be equal to x center of mass i cap plus y center of mass j cap let's substitute for it r center of mass will now be equal to now x center of mass is 1 so it is simply i cap plus y center of mass is sorry this is 1 by root 3 y center of mass is 1 by root 3 j cap so this is going to be the center of mass position vector for the given configuration and the correct option will now be equal to option number so it's going to be option number 3 so wherein this is j cap and this is i cap thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today